Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm just doing a really quick tutorial on AmiBroker and how to create a watch list using a CSV file. A watch lists are absolutely fantastic if you want to do portfolio back tests um, or if you want to quickly select between stocks really quickly, you say the click of a button. It's absolutely fantastic and very essential, like a, a very essential skill to have when you're using AmiBroker. And using a CSV file, a CSV file is very similar to a, a Microsoft Excel document and it can be opened in Microsoft Excel as well. Uh, a CSV file will usually look Looks similar to this and this is our stock just the stock codes as you can see down the left hand side here uh, not rocket science in any way shape or form very simple and it's very useful if we want to import say 100 stocks or 200 stocks at a time or even more uh, instead of doing it manually you can just put all that stock data into a CSV file and then import it using that CSV file so let's get started really quickly we've got our symbols tab we click on watch lists and let's just create our new watch list. This one looks good. We just click on it once, click on it twice, and then we can type in our watch list name. Very simple, there we go. Awesome watch list, that's what we want. And uh, from here, we can import our data. So we go to File, and then Import Wizard. Amazingly enough, this brings up the import wizard. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We've got pick files, that's exactly what we want to do. And from here, we want to pick our CSV file. This is the one that I want to use for this particular example. And then we click Next. Now that brings us our main screen. We've got a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, information up the top here. And we'll just go through it really quickly. The main one we want, because we've only got the ticker symbols, we don't really want to use the rest of these. So we just click on Skip. It's a... Uh, that's pretty much where we want to be at the moment and just so we have the ticker symbol only. The separator is fine to do to be a comma, that's fine. But then we want to put where we're importing the data into. So we've got group zero and that'll bring up where our watch list is. As you can see, if we click on the watch list there, we've got awesome watch list. So happy days, that means our stocks will go into awesome watch list. And as you can see, we've got the, the data comes up already. So that, that's a really good sign. What we want to do as well is we want to log errors. Yes, automatically add new symbols. I do not want to do that because in case I misspelled one or in case you know there's a, a stock on there that's not in my charting program already, I don't actually want it to be added because it won't have any data on it. Um, and also I've got no quotation data. So I just check that box and that makes it all happy days. From here, we click Next again, uh, and after that, we just click Finish. Very simple, and instantly, as you can see, it comes up in our awesome watch list. We've got all of the stocks here, and we can simply scroll down at will, see hundreds of stocks at the click of a button. Makes it very, very easy. I hope this has helped you in some small way. Guys, have a fantastic day. Happy trending until I see you next time. Bye for now.